Giant pandas are one of the cutest and fluffiest animals on Earth. Their thick black and white fur certainly makes them look very cuddly. Beyond their appearance, however, people know very little about giant pandas. Giant pandas, or simply pandas, are not only one of the rarest animals in the world, but they're also one of the most interesting. Don't miss out on this opportunity to learn more about these cute bears. Keep on watching for 30 panda facts. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. Pandas are native to South Central China. Most pandas live in Sichuan, Gansu, Shanxi, and other mountain ranges in Central China. They used to live in lowland areas too, but deforestation has caused most pandas to retreat to higher ground. Number 2. In ancient China, they believe pandas possess magical powers. This was during the Han Dynasty in 206 BC to 24 AD. The Chinese found pandas roaming around the emperor's garden, which led them to believe pandas were semi-divine creatures who had magical powers. Number 3. During the Tang Dynasty, China started giving away pandas as gifts. Have you heard of the panda diplomacy? This is what people called China's practice of gifting pandas to other countries as a symbol of friendship and peace. The panda diplomacy dates back to the 6th century. Empress Wu Zetian of the Tang Dynasty would often send pandas as diplomatic gifts to Emperor Tenmu of Japan. By the 1970s, China was also gifting pandas to American and Japanese zoos. Number 4. China would also loan pandas to other countries. After China started giving pandas to American and Japanese zoos, several other countries started asking for pandas. In 1984, however, China decided it would stop sending free pandas as gifts. However, this doesn't mean China stopped exporting pandas. They began lending pandas to other countries for a rate of $1 million a year, and a country could only rent these pandas for a maximum of 10 years. Number 5. Any newborn pandas that were born during the loan are still China's property. Sometimes, loan pandas give birth while their contracts are ongoing. According to the terms that both China and the country agree on, the country loaning the panda must return the cub to China as well. Number 6. Aside from the Chinese dragon, the giant panda is also China's national symbol. Throughout history, the giant panda has been one of China's most defining symbols. Aside from being used as diplomacy gifts, pandas appeared in some of China's earliest writings. In fact, the Chinese language has 20 different names to refer to the panda. Some examples include spotted bear, bear cat, giant bear cat, and bamboo bear. Number 7. In the bears versus raccoons debate, scientists have concluded that pandas are in fact bears. People often compare pandas with bears and raccoons because of their similar appearances and behavior. For a long time, scientists debated between classifying pandas as bears or as raccoons. In 1970, a study finally gave everybody answers. It was found that a panda's cellular molecules were closer to a bear's. Since then, pandas have been classified under the Ursidae family. Number 8. There are two subspecies of giant pandas. There are some distinct characteristics that set these subspecies apart from the giant panda. They have different fur patterns, smaller organs, and lower reproduction rates. These two subspecies are the Sichuan and Qinling pandas. Between the two, however, only the Qinling pandas are officially considered as subspecies of the giant panda. In fact, this classification is still relatively new. While the Qinling pandas were first discovered in the 1960s, it was only recognized as a subspecies in 2005. Number 9. A newly born panda is about as big as a stick of butter. As an adult, a giant panda will measure around 1.2 meters to 1.9 meters, with a weight of 70 kilograms to 100 kilograms. However, a baby panda will usually measure around 900 times smaller than its mother. Despite being called giant pandas, these fluffy creatures actually start off as small as a stick of butter, with an average size of 5 ounces. This means they only weigh around 36 grams to 210 grams as a baby. Number 10. Baby pandas are born pink. 
It might be hard to imagine pandas without their distinct black and white fur, but they weren't actually born with these colors. Newborn pandas only have a fine layer of hair, making them mostly appear pink. After three weeks, however, their fur starts to grow and the distinct black and white pattern can finally be seen. Number 11. An adult chingling panda is light brown and white. Panda subspecies, of course, have different fur colors. For the Qingning panda, their fur patterns are light brown and white. Aside from their fur color, they also have smaller skulls and bigger molars than giant pandas. This subspecies lives in the Qingning mountains, which have heights up to 3,000 meters. Number 12. Scientists are uncertain why giant pandas have black and white fur. Despite extensive research, scientists still don't fully know why pandas have their distinct fur patterns. However, they hypothesize that pandas most likely have black and white fur to help them camouflage against snow and rocks. Number 13. Aside from having fluffy fur, pandas also have thick skin. With how fluffy pandas are, it's pretty obvious that they have a thick, woolly coat to keep them warm. What most people don't know, however, is that they have thick skin too. A panda skin ranges from 5mm to 10mm thick. That's around twice the thickness of human skin. Number 14. Pandas have a digestive system similar to carnivores. This adorable creature might be an herbivore, but their stomach is actually built like a carnivore's. Just like carnivores, pandas have shorter guts. This allows them to break down the nutrients from their food much more efficiently. Since bamboo makes up to 99% of a panda's diet, pandas don't get as many nutrients as other animals do from their varied diets. With a shorter gut at least, pandas can get by with enough nutrients to sustain themselves. Number 15. Pandas have favorite types of bamboo. Just like how we have our favorite foods, pandas have their favorite types of bamboo too. Out of thousands of bamboo species, pandas especially like black bamboo, water bamboo, and arrow bamboo. Number 16. In captivity, pandas develop an omnivorous diet. Of course, a captive panda's diet greatly differs from a wild panda's. To supply them with a balanced diet, zoos and sanctuaries will serve pandas with a mixed diet of eggs, fish, and produce. Number 17. The Beijing Zoo currently houses giant pandas. China's oldest zoo, which was founded in 1906 during the Qing Dynasty, is where most pandas are held in captivity. The Beijing Zoo takes care of several giant pandas and red pandas. Aside from these pandas, this public park also houses other endangered animals such as South China tigers, snow leopards, and golden snub-nosed monkeys. Number 18. In the wild, most pandas only live up to 20 years. This is a little shorter than pandas in captivity. The average lifespan of a panda in captivity is around 30 years, and this is likely because captive pandas have a much more balanced diet than wild pandas. Number 19. Female pandas only have 24 to 72 hours to mate. Most animals can mate for months. Female pandas, however, have a limited heat period of 24 to 72 hours. Plus, female pandas only go into heat every two years and they give birth to one cub per pregnancy. Number 20. Female pandas can mate with several partners. Since the heat period of female pandas is both short and seldom, male pandas often become extremely competitive. They only get a chance to mate with a female panda every two years after all. Luckily, pandas are not monogamous, so a female panda can have several male partners. Number 21. Despite popular belief, Pandas are actually strong climbers and swimmers. Pandas might not look sporty, but they can climb trees. In fact, as early as 7 years old, pandas can already start climbing trees. Pandas are also strong swimmers, but you won't see pandas swimming very often. They don't hunt or eat fish, so they tend to stay on land. Number 22. Aside from being excellent climbers and swimmers, pandas are also fast runners. Most pandas can run up to 32 kilometers per hour. At full speed, they can easily outrun predators. In case they get caught, they can still put up a fight with their strong build and jaws. Number 23. Unlike most bears, pandas do not hibernate. Wild pandas can't store much fat since their diet comprises bamboo only. And this isn't enough to get them through the harsh months of winter. To survive, pandas will climb down the mountains in search of warmer temperatures. Number 24. Pandas are solitary creatures. 
they don't usually live with their families. For female pandas, they prefer to live alone in their chosen territory. Male pandas are the same, but they will look for female pandas during mating season. After mating, male pandas will leave the female panda to raise their offspring alone. Number 25. A baby panda will usually leave its mother after it grows older. After 9 months, a baby panda will stop depending on its mother. However, it usually leaves its home after 18 months, around the time the mother becomes pregnant again. Number 26. Only a few predators hunt pandas. In the wild, not a lot of predators threaten adult pandas. However, it is a different story for baby pandas, who are extremely vulnerable. Black bears, eagles, wild dogs, and snow leopards are all threats to the safety of panda cubs. Number 27. Pandas leave behind scents to signal other pandas. A panda scent can inform other pandas if they are in the area. This is especially helpful for female pandas who attract male pandas by leaving behind their scents during their heat. Number 28. Unlike other bears, pandas have thumbs. Pandas have a special bone on their wrists that help them hold bamboo. They aren't as opposable as human thumbs, but their thumbs certainly get the job done by helping them grab onto their favorite bamboo. Number 29. The biggest threats to pandas are commercial farming and deforestation. Pandas don't have much to worry about when it comes to predators. However, farming, deforestation, and other urban developments have led to habitat loss, which drastically lessened the population of pandas. Because of this, giant pandas are currently classified as vulnerable. Number 30. Thanks to stricter laws and greater awareness, the population of pandas is slowly recovering. Fortunately, there is a progress in protecting giant pandas from further losses. In 2016, the IUCN classified giant pandas as vulnerable instead of endangered after a 16.8 increase in their population during 2015. In 2021, China also classified giant pandas from endangered to vulnerable. Today, efforts to protect the giant panda continue. There is so much more to giant pandas than their cute appearances. They are important not just to the ecosystem, but to Chinese culture as well. Hopefully, the population of giant pandas continues to rise and rise. This can only happen, however, if the habitats are kept safe and clean. Let's do our best to keep the environment clean and green, so these fluffy bears can live and climb these trees without worry. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.